Dr. Mark here at Natural Health. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, yeah. today, this month, uh, during what month is this? This is August. We're talking about brain health, and tonight uh, we're talking about hydration and exercise. Uh, getting people used to that. Hydration is a big thing. We're seeing a lot of problems with that this week. Just because of all the hot weather and hot humid weather. And so people are getting dehydrated, and that does not only mean lack of water, but lack of salt, too. So we're going to talk more about that at the end of this exercise. It's a good thing about summertime, you usually get quite a bit of exercise going on uh, through, the, through the summer, just to worry about it too much, but uh, we're trying to keep that in mind. Um, and yeah, Natural Health, we've been here now uh, almost 40 years, uh, maybe 40 years in the this early spring, uh, doing the cushions and chiropractic at that big time. So, um, and we have a lot of experience with all this stuff. So, uh, we'll go into a little more information here. Of course, I'm Dr. Mark here at Natural Health. Uh, so, talk about recommended water intake. Uh, so, you kind of have, you know, the general things that, you know, the more exercise you do, the more water you need. So, uh, the sedentary, no sports uh, or training during the day, that person needs a half of their body weight in ounces per day. So uh, you can imagine that the course the more you're getting into so, things, yeah, the more uh, fluids you need. And so again, we'll be talking about that, not only of water, so, I mean, but also the electrolytes that go with it. So uh, there's a, a quick little way of figuring that out. Uh, and this is how to do it. Just multiply your weight times that factor and gives you the recommended amount. Now, I try to tell patients that that's kind of just a, a good indicator ish because you don't want to drown yourself. Okay. I mean, if you're trying to suck down 12 big glasses of water a day and just like they say, well, that's too much. Uh, you don't want to do that. You just want to try to get what you, what you need. And you can just use thirst as your indicator, really. So, um, so you recommend again that you drink 8 to 12 glasses a day. But again, that depends on your, your needs and what you do uh, there. So sea salt is good for you. Um, um, sea salt. So the question is good for you? Question mark exclamation for night guys. Uh, so the premise of sea salt that salt leads to hypertension has never been scientifically supported. It's just something that people came up with. Uh, but salt that aids blood sugar control by improving insulin, insulin sensitivity. So you get a lot of people that have diabetes are insulin, uh, or insulin sensitivity, uh, are having problems uh, because they're not getting salt either because they usually have high blood pressure. So the medics tell everybody that has high blood pressure, you're getting too much salt, you can't have any salt. So, and I would agree that the, 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 the common white table salt, that junk, is a problem because it's just salt, it's just sodium chloride without all the minerals that go into sea salt or mineral salt. So if you get a good quality sea salt or mineral salt, it's really important to have that they have good uh, fluid uh, control of the body. I'm talking about hydration, but also to making sure the kidneys work so your blood pressure stays low as your fluid is you know, removed from the body as needed uh, there. Uh, salt uh, is a natural antihistamine. Again, helping the body to drain lymphatics uh, as it gets the, uh, the osmolary, the, the, the snot, to be more runny. So it runs through lymphatics rather than plugging things up. Uh, your body needs salt to maintain a proper stomach pH in all the pHs as far as that goes in the body. If you use good sea salt, and the, and the biggest problem we have in this, in this country, especially, is that people that do a lot of carbs, especially refined carbs, their bodies get a tendency to go base, or basic, and so in general, as, 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 as relatively. So uh, the deal is that the net lens comes towards yeast infections and some things like that, bladder infections and stuff. So we can use uh, salt to change the salt is more of an acid. It helps to change the pH back to more normal. The body can easily get rid of salt too. It, just, it doesn't need that much. It just pees it out. Really simple uh, there too. Helps to improve sleep quality. Again, it helps the nerves to calm. A lot of things that salt do, especially the minerals in the salt, in the sea salt, our mineral salt helps the body to calm down. Adequate salt consumption uh, encourages a healthy weight and uh, fast metabolism. Again, sea salt and things will have uh, iodine in them. Uh, you don't have to add iodine to salt if it already has it in there. It's when you take it all out, and you have to put, you have to throw a little back in there called iodized sea salt, which makes it sound healthy, but it's not. It's still white junk salt with a little iodine thrown, thrown in there. Uh, so it's important to get, get that metabolism working correctly 
and the thyroid has a lot to do with that, which is like an iodine uh, function there. Uh, supports thyroid function, because we're just talking about that with iodine there. But again, the pH balance, the, the, the lymphatic drainage, all that is tied in. Supports high hyperosmolarity of the extracellular fluid, which is we talk about thinning the snot, <laughs> getting the extracellular fluids and things to be able to move, so you have lymphatic drainage, and, and again, helps lots of things there. Uh, adequate salt supports balanced hormones. Again, a lot of good minerals there, the pH balances, helps with digestion so you can absorb the good foods and things by these. Add these a satiety factor to food, which just means that you you actually feel like you're filling up, you don't have to eat as much if you use good good quality salt because you're getting good minerals. And that's why people normally are hungry because they, they're craving or even like cravings too are a lack of minerals. So it's important to get those minerals in the body. And again, that's I can't I can't express that enough that regular table junk white salt has all the minerals taken out. And the, the companies like Morton that do that, well, they sell people the table salt, the cheap table salt, and then sell the minerals to the feed, uh, cow feed manufacturers because the animals seem to have minerals, but not humans, apparently. So uh, it's just uh, it's crazy how animals many times are fed much better than humans in, in, in this, in this uh, country. Um, so what salt is best? Uh, we like to use Celtic sea salt. We actually have it here at the office, but then we uh, uh, you can get it in other places too. And then Himalayan, uh, the pink salt, is also a good mineral salt. Now I find that the that the pink salt tastes a little brinier in my in my taste. So I like I like to just use the sea salt, the Celtic sea salt. Now when you use sea salt, it it should look dirty. Uh, it should look gray. Because if it doesn't if it doesn't, a lot of times that means that they've already removed the, the the, um, the minerals and uh, the, the big manufacturers uh, Han and Morton uh, they sea, they have sea salt but it's again they've taken out the minerals again and they just started with sea salt took out the minerals so you have to be really careful make sure that you're buying a good quality sea salt or mineral salt uh, that, that is good for the body to do and how much salt should I eat so the average person can handle a level teaspoon of sea salt a day it's kind of an average amount that I tell patients of course, it's going to depend, you know, some people don't think as much, some people more. Usually your taste will tell you. If you, if you, if you, actually, you can just put salt on your hand, lick it off. If it tastes almost sweet, your body really wants it. Uh, but if it tastes real briny, you know, like awful, well then, yeah, you, you, you may be getting too much. I don't need that much that day. Also, we find that people that haven't had salt for a long time, they really, it takes, it takes them a while to get back to the, that get your taste back into it. And once they do, though, they usually like it very well because they've been off of it for a long time. And they're usually on water pills and all kinds of medications and stuff that really throw things off. And if you're on medication, that really throws that whole system off, too. So it's important to understand that. So that's enough for me, I think, tonight. Uh, just, just don't forget uh, to do that. Also, we have a product here at the office called CalAmo that I use for all my patients. It's a calcium salt. And it uses it a lot uh, for patients that are having any kind of muscle fat, uh, spasms, leg cramps, uh, anything like that during the summer. Or if you get feeling like you're a worn out dish rag, just brutally tired and just can't hardly go, that's an indicator of usually lacking salt or dehydration again. So another way you can help your body too is when you drink water, you want to squeeze a lemon juice from a real lemon uh, into, the, into the water. Usually a, a table teaspoon to tablespoon per gallon, somewhere near, makes it taste a little better, and that adds electrolytes into that water. Also make sure it's a good quality spring water, which has minerals in it too. So I think that's enough for me. Hope that's some good, good tips. If you have any questions, of course, you can always give us a call. We do have free consultations too. If you've never been to our office, or if you want to see how uh, natural health uh, doctors work, uh, we have a great uh, technique called nutrition response testing that I go through that tells me or ask your body, and that body tells me what it needs nutritionally to keep people healthy and optimum health, not just uh, symptom free. That's not really optimum health. We want your body to be healthy and have lots of energy. So, again, not for me. I'll send Dr. Chip up with some more great information. All right. Okay, I'm Dr. Chip, and we will keep going with the topic of exercise and hydration. Here we go. Okay, hydration. So again, we really need to think about what we consume throughout our day or throughout our lives, the different drinks and everything too, and that if our body is 70, around 70% 70 water, then you would think that we should probably make, maybe focus more on water being uh, the staple of what we're drinking, of course. 
Uh, so again, especially throughout the summertime here, you may be outside more, uh, sweating more. That's important for us to get hydration back in. And not only for athletes and especially again the kids and everything too, but everybody should be more focused on getting good quality water in rather than it could be uh, juices, sodas, all these other different things, coffee, tea, which again, they're not bad in moderation, but if we're not getting that proper water intake, then we re we're really kind of doing our body a disservice. Um, and then again, the wa water helps bodily functions. And so just like a car, when you don't put in oil, you know, every now and then, or you don't clean or, you know, get the, uh, an oil change for the car, then the, you, the systems don't work properly. All the, the motor, the, the gears, all that get, you know, rusted or anything like that. And that the whole system suffers because of a simple change of oil that is needed for the, the motor to run properly. Now again, you could, you could kind of give it a little more similar context to where uh, a human body is like um, a, a car or the motor and the water and the oil are similar to what we need. So if we're not getting our, the water in our bodies properly, then all the systems aren't working properly. And so a lot of times when we have some issues or uh, different things that kind of some effects in the, bo in the body, some uh, symptoms going on, you would say, we really need to think, okay, am I getting enough water and, and throughout the day, am I getting hydrated enough? And like Dr. Mark explained too, am I getting the minerals in there too? It's not only that we can just keep chugging gallons and gallons of water at a time, we need to be getting good minerals in. Sea salt is a good support for that, but also just eating good whole foods will really help you get that mineral balance in. Not going too much on processed foods or foods that are packaged and stored. Uh, so again, we talked a little bit about hydration. Uh, Dr. Mark explained that too. Now let's kind of kind of focus more on the exercise part. And so again, exercise. What? Why exercise is so important is that blood is around 80% water, and that we can drink all the water we want, stay hydrated that way. But if we're not moving our bodies, if we're not getting out of working the muscles, uh, working the joints properly, allowing that circulation to get to all the ligaments, tissues, muscles, cells of our body, then it's not able to do its job efficiently. And so again, if we're moving our body through exercise, then again, that blood or the water can get to the different places it needs to so that our body stay more vital and are actually expressing health better. Uh, exercise helps promote movement of blood, Again, we just said that, and then good for joint and health mobility. And so again, a lot of our body is made up of water. The, our spinal disc, the, the disc that kind of separate the segments of the spine, uh, the ligaments and tissues, the muscles, all of it is really a percentage of water here. And so when we have aches and pains or we have different symptoms going on, we really need to give credit to where it's due that we need to give, you know, we need to take responsibility of actually being hydrated and drinking enough water. Uh, so again, that's why, again, not only drinking water is good, staying hydrated, but exercise too, moving those joints, moving those parts of the body that need to be moved, uh, again, will allow that water, that blood to get into that joint so that it's able to uh, facilitate healing or facilitate regeneration, replacing of those cells and those tissues and everything that the body needs for it. So again, let's go ahead and talk about exercise again, but how uh, we can implement it in our lives, you would say. Now I put exercise and recreation because a lot of times people think that exercise just means you have to go to the gym, you have to uh, really work yourself to death of a certain movement or exercise or you know whatever you're doing, it could be push-ups, sit-ups, uh, you know, going to the gym, moving the bar, weightlifting, all that. Again, they're all very good, and if you like to do it, that's great. Uh, but even just walking is a very easy exercise, a good full body movement that we actually we kind of underestimate, and that we've been walking for, you know, millennia here. So 
uh, again, kind of give credit where it's due, that walking, again, great exercise that you can do five minutes, you know, 10 minutes, kind of climb up there. And again, that's really promoting that good circulation throughout the body, getting the heart moving, that pumping, and so that the blood is flowing really well throughout our body so that we can, again, stay healthy. Uh, again, fun activities. That's why I put recreation on here. Now, again, when we do certain work, when our businesses allow or you know, have us do certain kind of activity that we need to actually help that keep the business moving by working, you would say, or farming or any, any types of those that's considered work, that is exercise. We are moving our body in a way that is actually promoting, again, good, healthy uh, blood flow and all that. But a lot of times is that we forget about recreation. Now, exercise and work is good. Um, sometimes if you exercise too much or work too much, then that can actually facilitate a, a down regulation of uh, kind of how the body is able to help be healthy there. Uh, so again, just like a, a bot or somebody going to the gym working out, uh, the muscle is not built while working out. The muscle is built by resting. And recuperating and so it's important to note that because if we're overdoing things and again we can suffer but if we're underdoing things again not getting enough and we can suffer too and so an easy or a, a good way to balance that out using different muscles is recreation or fun activities so this not only is good for the body but it's good for the brain because we're actually doing movements that we either enjoy that we kind of forget about the different things in our life. And so our brain is actually processing different things differently uh, and allowing our bodies to move in a different way. And so that helps facilitate you know, different movements of the muscles, ligaments, and tissues that are not normally being worked with. So you could kind of relate this to you know, a lot of big sports people, a lot of uh, famous football players, basketball players, uh, what, what have you, they actually uh, implement a different routine such as doing something fun or gymnastics or anything like that because it's a different movement for the body to uh, facilitate a different style of, uh, kind of everything expressing itself. And so now that helps, to, helps the blood flow, helps the uh, muscles work differently so that the brain can actually function even differently there too. Uh, so just some little tidbits there. And again, balance. Balance, again, not only uh, from actually different exercises that promote balancing, but balance to where you're balancing the brain and the body. And so if the brain is on high alert all the time, if we're being, you, you could say, like anxious or different things that cause us nervousness or depression or anything like that, one of the best ways is just to move your body get outside, get out into the grass or nature or anything, get into some sunlight, move your body because that's ultimately what your brain is doing. It's kind of moving too much. It wants to move. So, um, but if your body is not doing anything, then there's a disconnect from your brain to your body. So just getting some movement in will help your body to kind of release that kind of a, that order from the, the brain there. So I think that is it there. Um, if you would like to check out, this is a little thing, that, or a big thing that Eddie and I are doing, uh, my brother Eddie. Um, it's called Two Health and Beyond. It's a online kind of workshop course platform. Uh, we're not quite, uh, we're kind of getting all the details uh, ready, but if you want to check it out, twohealthandbeyond.com for more information. So, I got a little technical difficulties here, but uh, so the, what, um, we always love to share more information. We wanted to help you guys out more, um, just to help people know that there's more out there that they can uh, do for their overall health and well-being. And um, if you would like to know more information, if you'd like to, to see more of us or you know hear more information, uh, you can visit us on Facebook, Parlor, Brighteon, Instagram, and YouTube uh, at Natural Health Quincy uh, IL. Uh, you can also go to our website at naturalhealthquincy.com and subscribe to our email list. Uh, our number at the office here is 217-228-2040. Uh, and then we're, lo we're located at 2000 Jefferson Street, Quincy, Illinois. 
again, thank you so much for watching. Um, it's always good to kind of relate more information. Again, this could be something that you already know or that you kind of got little tidbits about, but I hope it actually got you to understand or just think about what you can do for yourself or even kind of relate to more of helping others, your relatives, friends, family, what have you, because a lot of people in these times need help and need some advice and support. And so we, and Dr. Mark explained there too, is that he's been doing this for a long time. He knows how, it's kind of how it works more. Um, and then we all, we're all learning back and forth too. So it's always good to see that when we can share information and you are helped in some way that we, we appreciate that too. So um, that is all it for today. Uh, I hope you guys have a great week and finish out strong. Thanks.